Okay, so I'm going to show you how I make my shakes and I'll also try to explain what all of the different settings do so you can adjust everything and make the shakes your own way. So let's start by adding a shake. And one of the most important things is to enable the motion blur. I like to just keep it at the default of one because it isn't too much and not too little motion blur. Then we're gonna put the amplitude to like 2.5. Honestly, it doesn't matter too much what you put here because we can change the amplitude separately for the X, Y and tilt shake to control how, how big our shake will be. So let's just animate the amplitude and make a quick shake. Then we can make the adjustments later on. What I've seen a lot of people do is just go six frames forward and then put a, f a fast fade here. But this will like stop instantly and it's really rough. We also want it to shake throughout the whole clip. But if we just move the keyframe over there, you can see that it's like shaking too much and too long. So I like to go four frames forward from the start and then put the amplitude to like 0.5 or 0.25. And then we get something like this instead. If we put it to 0.25, it'll just stop sooner. So you can decide which one you want to use or just put your own value test some stuff then we have the frequency for frequency I, I usually keep it pretty high like maybe 10 to 20 let's put it at 15 and see maybe maybe 10 yeah but you can just play around with the settings until you get something you like. Then for the all of these, like the X and Y shake, and also the tilt, you can just change the amplitude here. For example, if you want the Y shake, you can turn off the X shake completely, and it'll be like this. I usually put both to like 50 or 100, so they have the same value then it'll shake as much like both directions then add some tilt shake like 2.5 to maybe 10 yeah, and then if you want to change like how the, how the whole shake looks you can go to the face or the seed both of them basically do the same thing. See, when we change this value, we'll get a different shake. So just change it until you get something you like. Yeah, something like this. Then also, if you have a newer version of Sapphire, I think it's like the 2020 version you'll have the channels option. Then here you can like make RGB shakes. If you change this, you can see. Then it'll be like this instead. I don't have any downloads for the plugin, so like before you ask, just so you know. But yeah, that's, that's all of the settings, I think. Hopefully this helped, and yeah, I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye.